this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the Peruvian immortal chess game. This is a spectacular chess game played by the Peruvian grandmaster Esteban Canal against an unknown amateur. In a simultaneous exhibition, he played at Budapest in 1934. Canal had white pieces and he started with e4. d5. Scandinavian defense. Pawn takes pawn. Queen takes on d5. Knight to c3 attacking the queen. Queen to a5. d4. c6. Knight to f3. Bishop to g4 pinning the knight. Bishop to f4. e6. h3. And black captured knight. Perhaps bishop to h5 is better. But we have bishop takes knight. Queen takes bishop. Bishop to b4. Bishop to e2. Knight to d7. a3 attacking the bishop. But if pawn takes bishop, then queen takes rook. Black castled queenside. And we have reached the critical position of the game. It is white to move. What would you play in this position if you had white pieces? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Are you ready? What did you find? Black castled, believing that pawn takes bishop can't be played. Surprise, surprise. White captured the bishop. Is it a blunder? Have a good look. How far can you see now in this position? Why did white play this move? Black happily captured the rook on a one check. King to d2. Queen takes another rook. Wow, what is going on? It is white to move. Why did white sacrifice two rooks? What would you play now if you had white pieces? Would you play this? Queen takes pawn on c6, check. Pawn takes queen. Bishop to a6. Borden, checkmate. In this position, White saw the board and checkmate. That is why he sacrificed both rooks. Let's see it again. Pawn takes bishop. Check. King to d2. Queen takes another rook. Spectacular queen sacrifice. Pawn takes queen. Board and checkmate. What a game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.